the writer to the Hebrews says this, And thus, let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. So how do we know what acceptable worship is? Paul tells us, All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Friends, sola scriptura applies to worship. The word, the word, the word, the word. I'm calling all saints, all who be professing Jesus as Savior and Lord resurrected. Too many Christians content with their preference. Avoid biblical dialogue because it threatens the comfort zone of postmodernity, which basically equates all truth with absurdity. And then comes the polemical curmudgeon who says, Judge not, yo, he's judging me for judging. They say that Paul said not to dispute, but the same Paul didn't hesitate to refute the errors of the Greeks and the unconverted Jews. And even Christ himself was the charge of being rude, because God centered this. Opposes Satan's lies Even when the praise of men requires compromise It's still content to speak the truth in love Cause scripture says that open rebuke is better than hidden love And so we ask you to open your mind And open the word cause without it you're blind To the message Christ has for you What you must believe and in faith strive to do I can't stress it enough that we're worshipping an idol When our worship isn't proven from the Bible John 4, that God is a spirit. Listen up, y'all. He that hath an ear, let him hear it. Since our God is not physical, what makes you think that he's into outward ritual? The scripture says he's jealous and not finite. So get your worldly rock band out of his limelight. When did he command drums and percussion? And when did man's preferences enter the discussion? I know that David made instruments for the temple, but in the new covenant, things are very simple. No more sacrifices, incense, or trumpeting. No more sprinkling the ark of the covenant, because God is a spirit. And Christ has fulfilled it The shadows passed away just like Jehovah willed it So now we preach, baptize, and eat the Lord's Supper And sing God's songs to exhort one another Yeah, I said God's songs So pull out your psalter And quit chiseling at the stones of his altar So why all the beats in this track? Word up Cause scripture alone applies to public worship Not to edifying artistry If that was unclear, by all means, pardon me But with that said, I'm stressing the second of ten To those who worship according to the doctrines of men Jesus makes plain that in vain did they worship him Even if with good intent, that's not what they were purposing Cause other meant well when he stuck out his hand But God struck him dead cause he broke the command And God blamed David for the whole affair Cause he put the ark on a cart That's not fair Cause God never said not to use an ox cart And God never told the church to have a rock star But God says to do only what he has commanded Or else in his time you will be reprimanded And that could be you, so be warned if you are it Using worship methods that possess divine warrant The Bible says repent and do just what God said Or ask us of what could happen Oh yeah, us is dead Why you calling it a scandal? Cause man's worship really serves to spread the evangel. People wanna be entertained, so we use it. Anything to get them in the pews is conducive. Unless it violates a clear prohibition. I could be wrong, yo, but that's my position. But is it biblical for subtraction and addition? To turn God's worship into self-made religion? Historically, this has been the homemade philosophy of the Pope and the Roman apostasy. So your position is not only Scriptureless. It contradicts the Protestant crowd of witnesses Trying to combine God's worship via synthesis With the pagan culture ignoring the antithesis Not just in how to be saved and who to worship But also in how we should praise Check the verses Both 
open up to the 12th of Deuteronomy Where God says this is how I want you all to honor me Wait, why cite verses out of Moses? Cause when tempted in the wilderness, that's all that Jesus quoted Cause all scripture is breathed out divine So listen up, I'm gonna start in verse 29 Jehovah starts by stressing to his audience why he kicked out the pre-existing occupants. He exhorts the congregation of his called ones not to serve the true God, how the nations serve their false ones. You shall not worship the Lord in those ways, because that would lead to practices that he abominates, like human sacrifice and idols and antics that Jeremiah 7 says are wrong because not commanded. But back to Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 32. Pull your Bible off the shelf, because this is a verse that could change your whole universe how you worship and even how you view the church everything that i command you you shall be faithful and diligent to do you shall not add to the ordinances given or subtract because that would only smack a superstition the church of christ is not a democracy it's not subject to human autonomy it's overruled by the king of the jungle the lion of judah so submit and be humble you grumble that this will only empty the pews but maybe it's time that you reform your views worship in simplicity and preach a simple gospel even when the preferences of worldly men are hostile the heart is deceitful and dead to reality so god's word imparts heaven's mentality all i'm advocating is a movement toward the cross because innovative worship is a profit in the lost what they need is to see true affection every week as we celebrate the resurrection on the lord's day not with instruments and harps but like ephesians 5 we strum the music of the heart but that can only happen if we're filled with the spirit singing songs and hymns with his inspired lyrics because christ wrote a book about himself called the psalms containing a myriad of psalms hymns and songs and since he's the king of his church god superior then it follows human songs are inferior i like matt redmond i'm down with third day but if it's not about you boys then get off the stage and why sing songs written by michael w rather than the psalms written by the god who loves you so tell me why it is that none of this is happening why no one wants to sing god's word back to him they'd rather go with man-made pre-packaging i'll tell you right now man it's not only whack it's sin so repent and reform to the pattern set forth in scripture because how we worship matters but don't take the words of my sinful tongue for it just kiss the sun and implore him to restore it Spirit is the author of the word, the man of God is instructed by the word, so we're worshiping according to the word, the word, the Holy Spirit is the author of the word, the man of God is instructed by the word, so we're worshiping according to the word, the word, the word, the word. yeah.